How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And uh, finally, we can bring you some benchmark scores and all that kind of stuff with a Samsung Galaxy S21. But this one is not just going to be on the S21. We're going to be comparing it to the iPhone 12 Pro, which I've got in front of me uh, here as well. So we're going to be running some benchmark tools on, on both devices to see how they score, how they fare against each other. Uh, we're going to go through some of the specifications as well to see what they have in common and uh, where one is better than the other. But uh, without further chat, let's get into it. And by the way, thanks to everyone for watching the Samsung Galaxy S21 impressions video. The video did really well. And I hope uh, we can keep smashing it like that on the channel. Uh, but yes, let's get on with it and see what they're all about. Okay, let's start with the design. So the iPhone 12 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S21 are very similar in many ways. So for example, the 12 Pro is just 6.1 inch of display and the S21 is slightly larger at 6.2 display. They both have triple camera set up. Like I said, they're very similar in many ways. They both have that front facing camera. Uh, one's better than the other in terms of megapixels. So the iPhone 12 gives you a 12 megapixel front facing camera and the Galaxy S21 gives you 10 megapixel front facing camera. The iPhone 12 is slightly slimmer, uh, but is hard to actually notice. But if you go by measurements that they've, uh, the manufacturers have released, you can tell that the iPhone 12 Pro is actually slightly slimmer than the other one. The Samsung Galaxy S21 though is very is much lighter than the iPhone 12 Pro. But you don't notice this unless you're actually using it on for a prolonged period of time. But just picking it up off a table, you won't really notice it just by picking it up. But if you're using it for a long period of time, you start to notice that the iPhone 12 Pro is actually slightly heavier than the Samsung Galaxy S21. In terms of display resolution as well, what you notice is the iPhone 12 Pro actually edges slightly better than the Samsung Galaxy S21, which is quite uh, kind of disappointing uh, just because uh, the iPhone 12 Pro offers more pixel on the display itself than it does the S21. Last year, we on the S20, we had a better display in terms of pixel. Uh, so it's kind of a step backwards in that sense, but everyday usage, you don't really notice much difference. Like I said in my previous video, the time you notice it is when you start to take higher resolution, resolution images or you view them, you can actually pixel peek and actually see where uh, there's discrepancies in terms of that. So for that on the, on the 12 Pro, you're looking at 1170 by 2532 pixels. And on the Samsung Galaxy S21, you're looking at 1080 by 2400 pixels. So for PPI, so in terms of that sharpness that you get pixel per density, uh, the iPhone 12 Pro has 460 PPI, whilst the Samsung Galaxy S21 has 421 PPI. Elsewhere, both supports HDR. So on the Samsung Galaxy S21, you have HDR10. And for the iPhone 12 Pro, Apple uses color OLED screen, which gives you 16 million colors, a lot of colors. And on the Samsung Galaxy S21, we have that color uh, dynamic AMOLED 2X display, which gives you 16 million colors as well. So in terms of color that you get on those two, you get really sharp, good, good, vibrant colors on both. Uh, there's not much of a difference in that sense. So when you look at the display itself, when you're watching movies or you're playing games, for example, uh, looking at images, the colors look very much similar. In terms of storage options, the iPhone 12 edges it a little bit because you can actually go up to 512 gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, but on the Samsung Galaxy S21, you can only get a 128 or 256 gig. And on both devices, again, Something similar is you can't expand the storage anymore. So the Samsung Galaxy S21 no longer offers the micro SD card expansion slot. Uh, so in that sense, you have to choose wisely which one you wanna go for. Because if you're gonna record in things like 8K videos or higher resolution videos in general, uh, it means you need to think about your storage options that you're gonna go for. In terms of RAM, the iPhone 12 Pro comes with six gigabytes and the Samsung Galaxy S21 comes with eight gigabytes of RAM. So on the Samsung, you're getting a bit more RAM in terms of opening, uh, helping you to open multiple applications at the same time, opening them, closing them, and going back to, to access something that's running in the background. That multitasking capability might just edge a bit forward when it comes to Samsung Galaxy S21. In terms of the battery size, the Samsung Galaxy S21 offers 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and the iPhone 12 Pro gives you 2,815 milliamp hour. So what that means for you is basically the Samsung Galaxy S21 lasts longer than the iPhone 12 Pro. And in the real world test, uh, from my experience so far, I've been getting more than a day, uh, well, a day and a little bit on the Samsung Galaxy S21, whilst the, the iPhone 12 Pro does not last me the whole day. By the time it's 8 p.m., it needs charging again, depending on my usage. In some cases, when I use it really hardcore, by the time it's 5 p.m., 6 p.m., I need to charge my phone again to use the iPhone 12 Pro. But the Samsung Galaxy S21, in my experience so far, I'm getting a good full day out of, out of it without 
worrying about charging it at all. Also back on that display, obviously Samsung Galaxy S21 offers 120 hertz uh, refresh rate, whilst the iPhone 12 Pro does not give you that level of refresh rate when it comes to gaming and just generally using your smartphone uh, in terms of browsing the web, how fluid the looks on the display. So that's something that gamers might choose the, the uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 over the iPhone 12 Pro. And in terms of graphics processor in there, so the Samsung Galaxy S21 runs a Mylar GPU, so that's a G78 MP, whilst the iPhone 12 Pro has its own Apple's own designed uh, GPU in there with that A14 Bionic processor in there. Talking about processing power as well, the Samsung Galaxy S21 has the latest Exynos 2100 processor chip in there, which is five nanometer. And in terms of uh, quality, in terms of processing power in there, we'll put it through the GP, uh, some benchmarking tools in a second, so you guys can see how they actually fare against each other in that sense. In terms of the camera on both devices, they're very similar in so many ways. Again, they have they both have triple camera setup. So on the iPhone 12 Pro, all the lenses are 12 megapixel cameras, uh, lenses each. And on the Samsung Galaxy S21 though, uh, what you get is on the telephoto lens is actually 64 megapixel. And from my experience as well, taking photos out and about with both devices, the Samsung Galaxy S21, in my opinion, looks better in terms of photography. And when it comes to video, the iPhone 12 Pro looks much better. However, the Samsung Galaxy S21 offers that 8K video shooting, so you can shoot 8K at 24 frames per second, something that the iPhone 12 Pro can't do. So if that's something that really matters to you, then you need to look at the Samsung Galaxy S21 in that area. Otherwise, I think if you're a video person that loves to make videos, I think the iPhone 12 Pro looks better in terms of video, in my opinion. Uh, but if you're looking to shoot a lot of stills, the Samsung Galaxy S21 looks better, in my opinion. But you guys decide, I'll leave some examples on the screen for you guys to look at, and I'll also upload them to my Flickr account, so do check them out as well for higher resolution. Now, onto that speed test. So let's see how this fare against each other in terms of speed and performance. We're gonna use some benchmarking tools and some basic loading applications and all that kind of stuff as well, just to see how they perform against each other. So let's start with the basics, which is loading applications and see how quickly they load. So at the moment, there's nothing running in the background, so that's the iPhone. And on the Samsung as well, there's no apps running in the background. So this is a freshly restarted as well. So uh, there's nothing running. It's all fresh uh, from loading up as well. So they both have the Wi-Fi on and uh, 5G as well, where I am in my location, which is great. Uh, so let's start with Twitter. So if you can see there, the Samsung slightly just loaded slightly faster than the iPhone there. But again, in the real world, not massive in terms of differences there. Let's load up Instagram. Very similar again, as you can see there, put that away. And then maybe we load Lightroom, which is a bigger application in terms of graphics and all that stuff. Okay, so again, very similar, not massive in terms of differences. Just to let you know as well, the Samsung Galaxy S21 is running an octa-core processor, whilst the iPhone 12 Pro is running an exa-core processor. So generally, we should be seeing a better performance on the, on the Samsung Galaxy S21 because uh, what we get is um, task will be processed in parallel uh, very much better because we have more cores uh, without slowing down uh, the user interface at all. So uh, let's load up Call of Duty. Oh, it looks like the iPhone 12 Pro uh, loads uh, a little bit faster there than it did on the Samsung Galaxy S21. And you can see they're still loading, so maybe yeah but once you get that past the first introduction stage um let's go back there once you go past that intro stage the samsung galaxy s21 uh showed up that login screen very much faster than it did on the iphone 12 pro so overall there i'd say the samsung galaxy s21 uh pretty much takes that one home okay should we load google chrome oh very much, again, very similar in terms of speed and loading up the application. So again, I'll just say they both perform really well in that sense. On to Geekbench 5, let's run uh, the test on here and see how that works, how that fares against each other. Okay, testing out the Geekbench 5 score on both devices, we can see a massive gap between the two devices here, which is quite surprising as well, or maybe not so surprising. So what we have is on the iPhone, a single core uh, test on the Geekbench score here looks much better than it does on the Samsung Galaxy S21 and the Mortar Core as well. I believe the single core is actually more important for the consumers like yourself that's gonna be buying the smartphones, uh, which means the iPhone 12 is actually better in terms of performance here than the Samsung Galaxy S21 that's running uh, Exynos 2100 processor. So 
Again, this are just benchmark scores and scores and numbers. Uh, in the real world, you hardly notice these differences, in my opinion. But time will tell, and a long period of time when I use it for a bit longer uh, to actually use that for my final review and if, in a couple of weeks or so time. When we look at Antutu benchmarking tools, though, the results are quite mixed here. So uh, when we look at the iPhone 12 Pro and the S21 here, so CPU performance is better according to this on the Samsung Galaxy X, Galaxy S21. When we look at the GPU performance as well, the GPU is better on the iPhone 12 Pro. And then when we look at the memory performance, because we do have that UFS 3.1, I believe, on the Samsung Galaxy S21, is much better in terms of read and write into your memory and storage and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's a bit of a mixed uh, results there, as you can see, compared to uh, the Geekbench 5 scores. If you're into your benchmarking tools and scores and all that kind of stuff, then do with that information what you will. But even with Antutu benchmarking scores, you can see that the differences between the two a very slim, as you can see on there. Maybe the iPhone 12 Pro Edge is just a bit better when it comes to graphics performance, uh, but again, in the real world, they both perform just as good as one another, especially on the Samsung Galaxy S21 where you get that 120 hertz refresh rate. It means when you're playing Call of Duty, for example, it just looks much better in my opinion, but it's entirely up to you which one you go for. In terms of screen on time, because I know a lot of people ask about screen on time, was it SOT, was it SOT? Uh, but in my opinion, I don't believe in screen on time because it doesn't often doesn't match up with my actual real world experience. For example, the iPhone 12 Pro is now showing me a lot of screen on time, like eight hours, 14 minutes here, but this actually won't last me the whole day. Compared to the iPhone, compared to the Samsung Galaxy S21, where the screen on time here is currently showing me one hour, 14. So you can see the gap between the two, but the S21 will last me the whole day with 20% left consistently. One more thing worth noting as well is the Samsung Galaxy S21 has a fingerprint sensor. So in this day and age where we have to wear masks and stuff to get everywhere, uh, that comes in very handy compared to the iPhone 12 Pro. But what they both have in common is that Face ID unlock. And on the iPhone 12 Pro, it works consistently and faster compared to the Samsung Galaxy S21. So I'm actually glad uh, that they've included uh, the fingerprint sensor on the, on the Samsung Galaxy S21. Otherwise, it'll really annoy me. Starting with locking them up. So if we just unlock both devices, as I'm looking at the uh, the sensors, the iPhone's unlocked straight away, while the Samsung face doesn't even match. So you can see there straight away that the iPhone 12 Pro just works better in terms of Face ID uh, unlock compared to the Samsung Galaxy S21. Anyway, that's it for the Samsung Galaxy S21 versus the iPhone 12 Pro. As always, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, uh, drop them there as well. I'll do my best to answer them for you guys. I'll leave all relevant links in the description area as well so you can do further research into these devices if you wish to do so. Uh, but in the meantime, if this is your first time on the channel, please do subscribe. Hit that bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video up on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.